welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday Motivation. I hope you're going really well. Hey, I want to teach you how to use feedback loops. Feedback loops are really powerful. For example, yesterday, uh, our new house, we got quite a steep uh, concrete driveway. And I don't know how many times I told Alyssa, my eldest, to slow down. She's on this little plastic trike type thing. She's flying down this hill, right? And I don't know how many times I slow down, Alyssa, slow down, Alyssa, slow down. And of course, kids don't listen, right? Sometimes they need to bust up their knees uh, to learn. And that's what happens, right? New puppy, Ruby was chasing her down the driveway. She was looking back, started to get the speed wobbles, crashed, grazed her knees, tears, screaming. And then she gets the lesson. That's a feedback loop, right? So the goal is to fly down the hill as fast as you can on the trike. It's going well for a while. And then what does she learn? Don't look backwards when you're going down the hill, you will crash. And guess what she did next time? Well, she put her foot down to slow down and she didn't look backwards even if Ruby was chasing her. That's a feedback loop, right? You've been doing this all the while, but what happens over time is you stop being conscious about feedback loops. So let's now apply it to a sales conversation. Let's say you're on a phone and you're doing a follow-up call and you're saying a certain language pattern, maybe you've got some structure around your follow-up call, hopefully you do, and <clears throat> you don't really know what works and, and why it works, and some of them go well and some of them don't. But then you don't take any alterations, you just do the next one, don't think about it, next one, don't think about it. Don't. So what I'm, here, what, I'm, what I'm doing for you here and teaching you is that you need to be self-aware in the moment. Really, that's what it's about. Because sometimes if you leave self-awareness to being late, what can happen is the opportunity's already gone. So what you need to be doing is all the way through a phone call, all the way through a meeting, all the way through the year, all the way through a strategy, this works for everything, you need to be self-aware in the moment. Is this heading in a positive direction? Am I going in the nice loop towards the goal? If so, continue to do it. But you also need to be self-aware in the moment. Am I heading down a path and can I recognize it early to change around and go back over to this direction? Because we're always swinging in one or the other, right? So step number one with this is to be self-aware. But number two, and this is the key team, is to have quick implementation. So as you know that you're going through a feedback loop into the negatives, to quickly adjust. And my belief is the people that adjust quickly are the ones that are gonna get the best results. It's the people that can recognize early and see the warning signs early that they're going in the wrong direction and then adjusting quickly are the ones that get the best results. So, what's this about for you? How do you apply this? Well, really, what I need you to do today is to have a little bit more conscious awareness around your phone calls, your follow-up, your strategy, whatever it may be, and pay attention to those little nudges along the way that are giving you clues positive or negatively, and then it's your job to take the action quickly to put yourself back on the right path. But I hope you enjoy feedback loops. I love them. I love being consciously aware of them. Uh, remember the analogy of flying down the hill. Try not to scrape your knee. It's a lot better to go down fast and not scrape your knee than go down fast in the wrong direction and bust yourself up. So I hope that helps. Anyway, I can help you. Say the word, shoot me a message, email, call. We're here to help. We'll see you on another Monday Motivation very soon.